Okay, now I'm going to talk about how God gives us His grace to help us in evangelism. I want to say this. Anything we do without the grace of God, we cannot do. It's because of the grace of God we can do anything. So, because without God's grace, we cannot even live. We have no life. And we can do evangelism and change people's life, bring them to the kingdom of God because of God's grace. So what is, the, what is God's grace related to evangelism? God's grace to help us to do evangelism. God's grace is this. He cares about these lost people. He wants them saved. And He wants to move in the heart of these people to prepare the heart for Jesus. And then He gives us motivation to do evangelism. And then whoever does evangelism, God is very happy. God will give him strength and wisdom and open ways so that he can do evangelism. And then when we do evangelism, He will touch the heart of these people to open the heart so that they will believe in Jesus. So what I'm saying is, from beginning to end, it's God's grace that makes it possible for us to bring people to Jesus. Now let me explain it in a different way. If God doesn't work, we cannot change people's life to bring them to Jesus. We cannot bring them to believe in Jesus. But it is because of God's grace. God cares about them and prepare their heart to hear the gospel. And He gives us motivation and He blesses those who want to do evangelism. Give us words of wisdom, give us ways to do it, give us the presence of the Holy Spirit. And then when we do evangelism, He will move in the heart of these people to change their life, to open the heart so they will believe in Jesus. So, and then when this person believes in Jesus, he's already saved, so God saves them. So from beginning to end, how He works in our life and how He works in the non-Christian's life is all grace. If God doesn't help us, He just sleeps in heaven, we cannot change people's life. Now, can you understand this? How come we can have results when we do evangelism? And also, how come when I speak to you that it can bring changes to you because of God? Now, God's grace in our preaching is like this. God wants people to be changed. God has a very wonderful way. He wants us to enjoy God. First, God's nature. He is wonderful. He has wonderful ways. He wants to bless all people. And then He moves in our heart that we hunger for the truth. Real Christians hunger for the truth. And then He moves in the heart of the preachers that they will receive wisdom from God. And then give us the courage and, the, and the, the right words to say to convey to the people. And then when we speak, the Holy Spirit move in the heart to change your heart. So in this whole process, it's God working in you and in me and through the Word of God to operate so that people will be changed. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. That we are changed because of God's grace. Have you noticed God speaking to you like in these few days and also in the past when you hear sermons? Does, did God speak to you? When God speaks to you, it's God's grace that He speaks to us to prepare for pe people's heart for, to hear His ministry, to hear His words. That's why we have confidence to preach because we know that God is working. We know that God will change His people. So it's not by me trying to change you. It's God who will change you. Do you understand now the importance of grace? Why are so many people burned out in evangelism and in ministry? Because they, they, they carry the burden themselves. I have to change these people. And they are not changing. And they sometimes use their own power, use their own wisdom instead of relying on God and they look at the failure and say I'm, it's so difficult, so difficult then they have a lot of burdens but if we know that if I have a close relationship with God I see the grace of God, the blessings of God then my words will be full of the grace of God when I talk it's always the grace of God the love of God, the wonders of God then when people hear that they are touched by the love of God and then they are changed and the Holy Spirit work at the same time 
That's why when we preach, we don't preach in vain. That's why there are results. So grace gives people strength to serve God, right? Give us strength to do evangelism. Give us strength and confidence to change this country. Because God wants that happen. God wants that to happen. Do you have any question about what I just said? So everything in our ministry, we can have strength because of grace. Now even daily life, okay, yes, like, let me talk about daily life. For instance, God's grace will help us to sleep. God's grace helps us to sleep. How? Because God is a peaceful God. God is a God, a relaxed God, no burdens. So when people come in the presence of God, the burdens go away. And there is peace. And it takes away our worries. And the Holy Spirit also moves in our heart so that we'll be peaceful, we'll put down the burdens, and then we can sleep better. And also, God can give us health so we can sleep better. So even the ability to sleep came from God, came from the grace of God. That we can live today is because of the grace of God. We can eat is because of the grace of God. We can serve God is because of the grace of God. We can pray with result because God works. Now if God doesn't work, no matter how we pray for each other, nothing will happen, right? It's God who works. Now do you understand the importance of seeing God's grace? That way, you serve God with confidence. I know God is going to work today. I know He's going to change people's heart. Therefore, I will preach with confidence. If not, if I'm preaching to stone, change stone, change, change, change. He's not going to change. But I know God is working in your heart, so I have confidence. That way, our ministry will be rejoicing, hallelujah, God is working, God is doing everything. Everything in our life came from the grace of God. Without grace, there is no world. The world will not exist. Without grace, we have no life. Without grace, we have no strength. We don't have the Holy Spirit. We, don't, we cannot do anything. Can you see the importance of grace? So every day, I hope you look at the grace of God, the blessings of God all the time. Now, even the law of God is beautiful. His holiness is beautiful. Because when people follow the holiness of God, their lives become beautiful. But it's God who gives us strength to obey. If God doesn't give us the strength, we have no strength to obey. And give, God gives us the wisdom to obey. For instance, my teaching on how to take care of problem, how we are affected by people, it came from the wisdom of God. God showed me that step by step. So I thank God. Do you appreciate God for His grace? Yes. So that's why I want you to write specifically Whatever you need. When you need good sleep, you don't talk about salvation. You talk about how God gives you peace mm -hmm. and healthy body so you can sleep better, right? Mm -hmm. When we talk about evangelism, we talk about how Holy Spirit works in the heart of people. And first, His heart to save people. And then He works in the heart of people. And He uses people to speak to people, to change people's life. And He motivates us and He also rewards us. When you think about the grace of God, in each area, there are many ways that God gives us His grace. So I hope it gives you strength and motivation. And I hope your Christian life is like this. Look at me. Hallelujah! I can enjoy God. I can serve God. And God is happy with me. I can pray to God and God will answer my prayer. And God will bless me. Everything I do will have results. Hallelujah! Isn't that good? So I hope you have this excitement. When you preach the Word of God, do you have this excitement? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Any question? So the first assignment, I hope you understand. Yes. Come forward, please. Come quickly. Yes. Jesus, admire me. I want to do something. Clearly. 
There are some people when they pray, they, they gotta they pop up God pray, they say they want to pray that God, uh, they say they want to pray for God to answer the prayer, they gotta pray out for open pray in case. Do you understand me? Mm -hmm. Repeat. Mm -hmm. I said there are some people when they ask asking God for something, eh? Do, when they ask God for something, they can pray that kind of hip hop prayer. Oh, they oh, shout him out for They shout him out for what? For what? For what? Yeah, the 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 right. I want to know. Yeah. Okay. Now, 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 noisy prayer is not necessarily wrong, but don't think that noise is what makes God hear a prayer. It's faith. Believe that God is good to us. Believe in His grace and have connection with God. Now, it's not wrong to be loud in the prayer it's not wrong because loudness and sometimes wake up some sleeping people it's okay <laughs> but now generally when i pray i don't speak loudly uh, because i think it's more important to love god from the bottom of my heart so uh, now but then we don't criticize people who pray loudly 